Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more LEGO Star Wars 2. In this episode, we're going to the final level of the New Hope levels. Chapter 6, Rebel Attack. Let's begin! Episode 4, A New Hope. Chapter 6, Rebel Attack. With the Death Star plans in their hands at last, the Rebel Alliance plans a desperate assault on the Imperial Space Station. But a hidden homing beacon attached to the Millennium Falcon has led Darth Vader to the Rebels' secret base on the moon of Yavin 4. The moon will soon be in range of the mighty Death Star Super Laser. Now, a small band of fearless pilots bear with them the hopes of an entire galaxy. Nailed it. And here we are, and this is the first vehicle level of the game. And I gotta say, these control way, 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 way better than the ones in um the first game. Holy crud, these vehicle stages are mu well, except for Hoth, but we'll get to that later, literally the next level. But yeah, these vehicle stages control a heck of a lot better than the ones. In the first game, like, these are miles, miles more tolerable. And just actually really fun. Well, not as fun as, like, the normal gameplay, but still, some of the better vehicle segments I've played. I, I'd say they're not Ratchet Deadlock levels of good vehicle stages, but... Granted, that game's kind of, kind of hard to top with that. But man, these are still really fun. Like, gosh dang it, they're so good. And like for this one, obviously it's the um well for this one what I need to do is just grab these torpedoes and just throw them at these little generator things so I can lower the shield to there to that thing. And I and so I can move on. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And I just Yeah, you might want to keep your distance when attacking them, or else you'll take some damage. I mean, you'll be fine, kind of, because it's kind of easy to get hearts back in this level, because there's so many enemies and all that. But, uh, just, just a little bit. Oh gosh, I'm going to die. Me and my big mouth. Am <laughs> uh, never mind about that. It's kind of also... Okay, the one thing that I don't like about these levels, it is kind of actually easy to die. Like, I'm not kidding here. It's really, really easy to die in these levels. But hey, it's... They're still fun. I mean, that's not going to stop them from, from being really fun and all that. Yeah, let's just bomb this other generator. I need to go grab some more... Oh, yeah, another thing that I got a little complaint about. The X-Wing's torpedo capacity. Yes, I know it's a small ship and all that, but... Seriously? Oh, gosh. Also, you don't get your torpedoes back when you torpedoes back when you respawn, so that's kind of annoying. You just have to go collect them again. Well, yeah. And that's a little bit annoying, but yeah, it's kind of really easy to time these levels and all that. And I mean, that's not going to stop them from being good. Like, but there's still a vast improvement compared to the ones in the first game. <laughs> that's for sure, because it doesn't. These aren't. 
nearly as frustrating as the pod race or anything like that. Because these are actually fun. Well, no, wait. I'd say, like, the... Okay, I hate Gunship Cavalry, which was, like, the one for... Well, the vehicle segment for, um... Uh... What was the film? Why can't I remember the film? Attack of the Clones. Derp. <laughs> I never forget about that. Yeah, because I think it's somewhat cons considered, like, the worst Star Wars film. At least the worst prequel film. At least that's from what I've heard. I've, I actually haven't watched that film in quite a while. I haven't seen, like, any, like, Star Wars film aside from Solo, but that was kind of, like, it's been a year since I've seen that film, now that I think about it. Because I saw that, like, during, like, around E3, well, you know, like, during E3. Well, like, well, E3 2018, whenever that was going on. Because I saw that film around that time. That was literally the last thing Star Wars related I've related I've kind of watched. It's, it's, it's weird. I haven't even last. Okay, I keep bringing this up. I still need to watch Last Jedi, even though I keep hearing, yeah, it's really like. I keep hearing like it's mixed. Like half of the film is decent, well, it's good, and like half of it is meh. But who knows? I'll probably like it. Yeah. I mean, nothing can get worse than gosh dang Crimes of Grindelwald, <laughs> which was the Fantastic Beast film. And on the topic of that film, I did not like that film in the slightest. It was... It's weird. Like, I absolutely loved Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. That was a legitimately great film, in my opinion. But uh, Crimes of Grindelwald... It wasn't it was fun. It just, didn't, it just lacked a lot of the stuff, which made the first film good in my opinion because it tried to be more serious and all that and introduced so many new characters it was uh, it was meh I mean it's not the worst film I've watched because I've oh crud I don't really watch many bad films or anything about it uh, but it's definitely not the worst thing I've ever watched but man that was that film was just so, eh. Now on to the trench run. Here we go. Alrighty, and here we go. So yeah, this is out automatic. Well, this is already really, really chaotic. And yes, I can, I can now die happily. <laughs> well, at least I can now just die because I'm on one heart. So I'm just fine if I go down because I got the true giant. I think so. I no longer have to worry about. Oh, I'm at four hearts. What the crud? Okay. Yeah, Vader and his squadron just constantly follow you. It's and they can kind of take you down pretty easily and all that. Alright, now time to take this thing down. So, there's gonna be a... F well, I think, if I remember correctly. Um... Yeah, there's gonna be some turrets that spawn right here. So I need to just take all of them down. All oh, gosh. Okay, I am... I don't want to die here, because I'm gonna have to recollect my torpedoes, and there's a chance I'm gonna miss one, and I might die. Ah, there we go. Good. Like, I honestly recommend trying your best not to go down... At least during, like, the trench run bit. Or else, like, uh... Losing your torpedoes is a pain, but... Here, it's alright. And, uh, wait, what the crud? Huh. Wait, why aren't these... There you are! And I think... Okay, we just need to wait for this other... One to spawn. Can you spawn? Well, can you activate, please? Thank you! And now we can destroy this final turret... And destroy the Death Star. 
Oh yeah. And that was the final level of New Hope. Well, the New Hope levels. Gotta say, it was nice. Of course, it had to end with the whole trench run thing, because that's how the movie ends and all that. But, yeah, it was fun. And Devin, and I think, probably my favorite vehicle segment. No, wait. Nah, there's still the final thing for, um, what's his face? Return of the Jedi. Yeah. That, that was probably my favorite one, in all honesty, but... Yeah, this was fun, and, and all that. And Blarg, because I don't really know what to say right now. Except, let's finish this thing off. Oh, yeah. And that was the end of the New Hope levels. I gotta say, eh, they were fun. Definitely not as good as, like, um, the Revenge of, well, not Revenge of the Empire Strikes Back. Sorry, I think I got prequels on the mind now. Uh, definitely not as good as the, um, yeah. Empire Strikes Back levels or the Return of the Jedi ones, but they're still, still a good start. Gotta say. Uh, I will say... Actually, wait, it might be on par with Empire Strikes Back just because... Well, with the levels in that one, just because of the gosh dang Hoth level A. I'll get into why I hate that one soon enough. But yeah. That was... This was a lot of fun. Gotta say. And you know what? Uh, I'm gonna save these credits for the final episode, so I'm just gonna skip over them. And we still have quite a little bit to go, so you know what? Let, let's just see what we can buy. I mean, why not? <laughs> I think we can buy a little bit of... Not a little bit. A few things. So let's see what we can get. Um, um, might as well start off with the bounty hunter. So let's just get Greedo. Um, hmm. Are there any bounty hunters that we have access to yet? No. Th let's get Tarkin. Why not? And this guy. And this guy. And this guy. <laughs> and the beach trooper, because gosh dang it. It's ridiculous and at the same time hilarious. And yeah, that's pretty much all the studs I had. And we're at 18% now. Heck yeah. So, um... I didn't show off the character creator yet, so why not? Um... And this is Princess Day. So, um, one of the things that this game has over the other game is the create character. So, you can... Just literally make your own kind of character. Uh, you can give him a cape. You can give him the different color hands and all that. You can you give them different types of guns. Why did they remove like this type of pistol out of like the not only this game but Lego sets? Maybe because it was a bit too. Uh, I don't know. Heck, I think they even replaced um Django Fett's guns in the Complete Saga to like just the standard ones. And not that. It's odd. Yeah, you can also have different colored lightsabers. 
necessarily don't go into like any of the other ones, but hey, at least you have the primary like not primary, but you know, most iconic ones there. It's, yeah. And like you can yeah, what else do they have? You can also change the body of it. You can have like <laughs> Black Safari Dave Kenobi, okay. Uh yeah. That's pretty much the character creator. I'm just gonna uh, save and exit there. Yep. So, um, yeah, that's gonna be this episode of LEGO Star Wars 2. In the next episode, we're gonna start the Empire Strikes Back levels. Man. Oh, man. We're gonna go to one of the fans of my childhood. So, thank you all so much for watching, and have a great day, guys. Bye!